Hey, it's me, Karen, and today I'm going to show you how to create Korea's latest glass skin trend by using some of my favorite makeup products. But first, let's start with my hair because I'm going to be honest, I haven't washed it in like two to three days, and it smells a little funky. I need some major TLC. <laughs> So dry shampoo is a must for lazy girls like me and my current favorite is Amika's Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Guys, it smells like perfume and it does an amazing job soaking up the oils from my scalp without leaving that heaviness so that it just leaves my hair really nice and volumized. <laughs> Alright, now I'm spraying a liberal amount of Amika's Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray before I start to curl my hair so that it really plumps up my hair and gives my curls that extra va va boom. Since my hair has really short layers, there are just a few iron wands that work on me. But this curl iron barrel pack comes with three different sizes for different curl patterns, and obviously I chose the smallest one to give me that major 80s perm look. Alright, so there really are just no tricks to this look. All you gotta do is part roughly half an inch of hair and wrap it around the curling wand for about 5 to 7 seconds, then release, and you'll have a perfect curl. I just really kept doing this until my entire head is covered for my Ajuma hairstyle. Now that we've got all grounds covered, take your fingers and lightly ruffle them at the roots of your hair just to give your hair a little bit more volume. And personally, I like to finish it off with another spritz of Amika's texturizing spray to kind of set off the hair and yeah, finish it off. It's time to take my cat ears, headband, and push away my bangs for skincare. By the way, I want to name my headband. What should I name it, guys? So skincare is a huge part of this look because the glass skin trend is all about glowy, smooth, baby butt-like skin. The key is to start off with gently exfoliating and resurfacing your skin with a polisher. And my favorite for sensitive skin is Tatcha's Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. After I've cleansed my skin, I typically start with Pixi's Glow Tonic on a dab cotton round. And this is a really great toner to start with because it has the active ingredient AHA, which simply helps with lightening pigmentation and removing dead skin. Next, I'm reaching for an avocado honey rich toner that's really great for my dry skin. Then, I'm also using my SK2 Facial Treatment Essence Serum to pack in a concentrated amount of moisture. And then finally, finishing off with one of my favorite primer oil for that ultimate dewy look. As for foundation, I've tried a couple different kinds and by far the best is its Bye Bye Full Coverage Moisturizer. Since it's a moisturizer, it really helps leave your skin super dewy without that slippery feeling. And this foundation, guys, lasts all freaking day, like no lie. I found that the best way to apply this on is with a dense foundation brush while pressing the product into your skin. Then to highlight and brighten my under eye and nose area, I'm using It's Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And since this product is so thick and creamy, it's best to apply with a flat brush and then blend out with a damp beauty sponge. We want to avoid powder for this look because the key is to glow to the heavens, guys. So I'm reaching for a blotting powder by Fenty Beauty and only focusing the product on areas like the tiny spaces between my eyebrows and the sides of my nose because I know I overproduce oil there just to control the shine. But remember guys, let the rest of your face glow. Wow, 
Oh, look how sparse and sad my brows are. <laughs> Thank God for makeup and Anastasia's brow wiz and medium brown because this product allows me to create the most natural strokes for a set of light feathery brows. Then to add a touch of definition of brow hairs, I've been loving Glossier's boy brow to lengthen and set my brow hairs. This makeup look is all about accentuating your glow, baby! So we're going to use a natural bronzer to slightly add depth to my crease for more definition. Then reaching into this beautiful quad from MAC Cosmetics, I'm using a dense Morphe brush to pack on the light shimmery pink shade as base. Now this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner is the key to the glossy look. Just paint the town red with this product and go all out because the glossier the better. Then take the same wand and generously apply it to your lower lash line. Using my M Cosmetics gel liner, I'm hugging my upper lash line to give the appearance I have a denser lash line cause let's be here old guys, I have no hairs there. Then with a liquid liner, I'm carefully lining my upper lash line and giving my eye the finest flick for now. I wanted to extend my eyeliner to be soft and subtle, so I'm extending the tail with a dark brown shadow for a soft feathery look with a detailed eyeliner brush. Then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to bring that to my lower lash line and just line the lash line, not the waterline, because the trick to this is it actually helps open up your eyes without making it look smaller. Lashes are of course optional, but for me, I love my lashes, so of course I went with Kisses Natural Lashes for a flirty look. And then it's time for earrings! These are actually from... Oh, I forget, but I'll link it in the description box below. They're so cute, they're sunflowers, and I think it just goes so well with this look. Now we don't want to look like we are wearing anything on our skin, so a liquid blush is perfect because it blends into your foundation as one. Just gently blot it on your cheeks and blend it out with the warmth of your fingers. Wow, it's time to glow up like you were born looking like baby soft glowy skin. So a cream highlighter is great for that, but if you need an extra boost like me, I love how natural Max Show Gold highlighter is. The key points of highlighting is obviously your cheekbones, nose bridge, tip of your nose, chin, the parts right above your brow bone, and lastly, I know this is a little weird, but lastly, the area right under your cheeks closest to the nose because this will give the appearance of controlled dewy glass skin. I'm going to overdraw my lips with Max Lip Liner, which I'll just link all the products in the description box below. I picked this shade that is the closest to my natural lip shade because I really wanted to give the illusion that these are my natural full lips. What's up? <laughs> then to add some shine and plump lips to my lips, I've been loving Pure Cosmetics Lip Gloss from their Pony collection. It's super shiny and has soft pink reflexes for that ultra glossy pout. Finally, we're going to slightly warm up my face, but we're not going to contour because we want to give the appearance of a rounded baby face shape. So I'm only applying bronzer to my jawline and nose for more depth. Okay. 
I did this off camera, guys, but I gave myself a liberal spritz of Tatcha's dewy mists, and we're all done. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and for Amika for sponsoring this video and making my life and livelihood possible. I just want to thank you guys so much for constantly supporting me, watching my videos, thumbs up and commenting. I really do appreciate and love reading all your comments. If you guys want to see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!